All right, guys, that's the first log with the portable winch. And first impressions on this tool is I don't know why I didn't get one years ago. You talk about saving time and money, because time is money in this business. You, know, you guys know that when it comes to sawmilling. And if you followed this channel for a long time, you know in the past when I take my trailer out to an urban environment like this, I had to use a hand cranked winch just to get them up on the trailer. And you guys just saw how fast I loaded this one log. That would have took me 10 or 15 minutes with the old method. I just really wished I'd have got this years ago because this is just going to save me a lot of time. I can load four or five logs in a matter of probably 10 or 15 minutes. It used to take me a few hours sometimes. Now the only problem I ran into, and this is not a problem with the winch, is this is a dovetail trailer on the end. It's got two metal ramps on the back, and sometimes the log, when I'm pulling it straight on the trailer, the bark, and sometimes if there's a branch or a, or a knot that get trimmed off flush enough, will catch that. And I ran into that twice while using the winch, and that had nothing to do with the winch. It was just how the log was on there, and I should have trimmed that knot a little bit closer, and I would have probably avoided that problem. But when that happened, the only thing I had to do was release the rope. And the winch quits pulling at that point, and then just went back there, and I turned the log over and got off that knot, and it pulled it right up with no problem. And I think that's one of the features I like best about this winch, other than it being portable and not using a battery and being gas powered, is the fact that you just have to pull a little bit on that rope, just a little bit of tension, pull it vertically, and it causes that drum to kick in with the rope and whatever you're pulling starts getting pulled. And if you want to stop it for any reason, you just have to release the tension on the rope. That's all you got to do is just drop the rope and you're good to go. That's a really good design right there. And all the tension is gone at that point, so you don't have a lot of tension either on what you're pulling. And then you can go back and make any adjustments you need to on your load and you don't have to worry about any tension and any cables because if a cable was on there and it was to break it would slap back and knock your head off and probably kill you. That's what I really liked about these ropes. There's no energy stored in them at all. But this thing's working great. The next log is going to be the butt cut from the tree and it's the biggest log out of the four out of this cherry tree. So we're going to load it up on here next and go back up the street here and get the other two. So this is what I was talking about here guys on this trailer. You got a metal lip right here that the ramp set on and another one up here. And when you pull a log straight up on this thing, doing a straight pull, the bark and if there's any knots or anything, they're going to catch on this and you have to roll it to kind of keep on working to get it past that. So that's what I was talking about when I said I had to make some adjustments on that first log. The winch was pulling it just fine. You just sometimes get hung up on this metal. You just got to stop and give it a little turn and keep pulling. Time ends. There 
there will be little for which to make amends. So don't be heavy, no light enough. There ain't nothing in this world worth giving up. So just try. Give it time.